Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today I received a package. So based on the title, you guys already know, it will pair well with my Sony CVE-10. It is a small rig, basically cage. So I'll be taking that apart here on my channel and assembling the camera. So stay tuned for that. So here's the box that the small rig comes in. So if you guys wanna know exactly what it looks, it's what, six by two, so. I'll be opening this up real quick and then we'll put it on the camera. So I ordered the full cage. There's one that comes without a grip. You could choose whichever you want. So I ended up going with a grip that will help me grip the camera. So let's see what we have in here, the way it comes in. So it comes bubble wrapped. It comes with little tools to help you install the camera. There's, looks like no installation guy inside of it, so. Let's see what we have in here. What else we got inside? So, nothing else in the bag. So here's the grip. The filling of it, let me see, compared to. Okay, got the camera right here. I was just filling the grip. It is not as smooth. This one seems to have, I can't describe it, like less, this is less grippy, but it has this ergonomic fit, uh, hand over here. So let's look at the bottom. Magnetic. The sides. Looks like the grip is removable by taking off these two screws down here. So if you want to remove the grip for whatever reason. And, uh, also, it's rubber inside, so it won't scratch up the camera. As well as rubber pads down here. As well, um, looks like this piece up here too is rubber. So that helps with um, the camera not getting scratched up while inside the small rig. All right, let's uh, do the installation real quick. So in the package, comes in with uh, one screw locking mechanism, I guess, and two sets of Allen keys, a bigger one and a smaller one. So let's put this to the side. Let's bring the ZVE 10 camera. And all we have to do is take it and slide it in through the front and fits nice. And that's it. So what you do is you take it. So this is magnetic and then you just Turn it on. I want to get two tight because I want it to be removable as well. So once that ends in there, you're coming around the side. So obviously the cage comes to where the controls are. The screw goes right here. So you take your little pin mechanism and it has this little race bump to it. And you just put it right there. And you Bring it inside, you take your screw right here, drop it in there. And you take the smaller Allen key, there you go. So just tight enough, but not too tight, to put not put a lot of pressure into the cage. So here you have it, it's nice and installed. So let's see. Oh, this grip is not usable, but you have one on top. I gotta get the angle on the camera right there. And this side as well, you have another one provided. So you could put your linear right there and on the other side. Now the grip feels nice in your hand, nice and steady. So you got your cold shoes still available up here, as well as looks like one in the bottom and you can still use your battery. And you got plenty of other attachment points. You can still use all your buttons, layout and everything like that. And obviously your on off is blocked in the camera. So it comes with a printed one on the cage itself. 
Uh, yeah, I'm liking this. It also provides protection to the camera. So you can lay it on the table and you don't scratch up the bottom of the camera if you're picky like that. So you have the cage right there. Um, let me see the back. Obviously the back, only the top is back section is not going to be protected with the corner. The bottom it is. So if you lay it, it's just going to be a corner with the corner there. But yeah, just lay over here and you should be good. I like the insulation, so the grip is nice. Look, full hand, finger where it goes, finger on top, uh, take photos, videos, whatever you want to do. Yeah. All right. Thank you for uh, watching the video. Please uh, have a good day. Peace.